This is the mid-2017 iMac 21 inch, uh, which does not have access through the back to the uh, to where the uh, to where the RAM would be, which is sitting right here. And so if I flip that around, the RAM is actually right here. Um, all we're gonna do is remove this. Um, it's three, I think it's how many? One, two, three bolts and this little cable here. Typically when I take apart a computer, I take a picture of the top of it, the bottom of it, the front, the back, whatever uh, surfaces there are. And then also once I get it open, I take a picture of the inside and I print it up so that as I'm taking things apart, I can put the screws where they go on the picture. So when I'm putting it back together, I know exactly where those screws go and I'm not stuck with leftover screws or ones where I don't know where they go or putting a long one where a short one goes and a short one where a long one goes. The system just works really well. So I've removed the three screws here, here, and here. I'm just going to lift that out and I could even set it down on the picture. I'm just going to set it off to the side. I know what it looks like. Um, and really, that's it. That's, all, that's the only piece you need to remove. You don't have to disconnect the power supply or mess with it. So the only other pieces that you might want to worry about is this little cable right here, this little ribbon that goes to the camera and goes down under here. And I think once you get that, follow the instructions on the guy's video on how to do it and uh, link there you go so now the fans off I'm going to show you where the rams at you can see it right there there are two dims of ram the bottom one and the top one we're going to remove those without removing the motherboard now this part is a little tricky and it might look weird but it's worth not having to take everything apart I'll show you I tip it up on its side so that um, so that I can see down behind the motherboard and so I'll show you and then I rest here I'll actually I'll turn it sideways and then I rest they're right here this iMac not really going anywhere I don't have to worry about it slipping because it's still pretty level and I can see straight down into the RAM slots there and you can reach under here probably with your pinky finger maybe if you've got bigger fingers um, that's kind of how I did it in fact let's see if I can do it while I'm doing the video so you release the two bottom ones is that going to release and let it sit there or you can pull it out if you want. I'm just gonna let it sit there. And then you pop the second one, the top one there. So it's out too. Now I'm gonna reach down and fish it out. This one, the heat sink's starting to come off. Set it aside, reach down. Grab the next one, and there you go. Okay, putting the RAM back in is basically the same steps with the short part, the short socket. I'm going to do that pinky trick around the side, hold it in. There. So, so there, I have it in the socket, but I'm not going to tip it yet. The heat sink is not wanting to stick. Okay. Line 
lined up. Not quite lined up, is it? Oh, maybe it is. Nope. Okay, I felt that. You'll feel it when it's seated right. Um, and then snap it into place. Make sure that the heat sink thing stays on there. And then snap the other one into place. It'll click on both sides. And then you just kind of push firmly, but not too hard. Make sure they're seated right. That's how you put in the new ones. So that was super tricky. I have my little black diamond headlamp that I was tipping in there and then I couldn't see past it. So I really had to rely on kind of just feeling it. Um, but I still managed to get it into place. And that's how you do it without taking any of the rest of it apart. And I'm gonna put this back together. Starting with this cable, and then next, I'm put my fan back on and secure, secure it in place, or secure the cable here. Take these screws and put them back in their spots.